All right, well, let's talk about a day in the life. Let's talk about a day in uh, the life of, uh, uh, of uh, my personage uh, and see, uh, let's see if I can remember what happens. When I'm on the road, let's see, I, uh, after a show, I usually go to bed pretty late. So I get up um, uh, relatively uh, late for me, um, of, say 10, 10 o'clock. I'm usually uh, finished with the breakfast by 11.30 and working out um, by then, either at the local gym, the gym in the hotel, uh, or um, in, my, in my room. Uh, some of the band and uh, singers uh, usually go with me. Um, Philip, uh, our dear friend and wardrobe guy, uh, goes with us, and Mark, of course, and uh, we keep ourselves uh, as, uh, as as uh, in shape as uh, we all possibly can. Uh, when you're on the road, you know you're sitting in planes and sitting at uh, hotels and sitting in restaurants, and, and so you really need uh, need to keep yourself in shape. And uh, th then after that, it's uh, interviews and uh, phone calls, and, um, um, and uh, some. Uh, uh, and when that is over, that's uh, meditation and uh, a quiet time for me. And then uh, it's getting dressed and going to a sound check um, wherever we're uh, performing. And that's when uh, it really gets exciting. I love, as you all have heard from me so often in interviews and, and hear how much I adore being with my band, how moving they are to me, how my crew is inspiring, and it, it still is that way for me. And uh, so I look forward to seeing all of them. And, um, and then we'll do a sound check, and I get to meet the choir. And uh, Every time I go to the back of the house with Kenny and I listen to the, what the sound sounds like in that particular venue, um, it just kills me. I love, I love what our band sounds like. And then when the choir sings, I write the songs, and I see their shiny faces up there. I usually have to go for the Kleenex. And then it's time for dinner and hanging out together and telling each other what happened during the day. And then uh, it's getting ready for the show. And, um, and then that m magic hour begins where everything changes. Uh, my world changes, uh, my crew, my band, my singers. The entire world changes and turns from uh, these uh, dumpy backstage uh, uh, areas that have been uh, just uh, never cleaned or vacuumed or, uh, or sometimes they're locker rooms or sometimes they're old theaters with lots of history and, uh, and lots of ghosts. Uh, and they, the, the whole place changes from that kind of atmosphere to a very, very magical one where um, our show uh, begins to uh, appear. Uh, the lights and the audience, uh, you can feel it backstage. You can, feel, you can hear them coming in. You can hear the excitement, the buzz, the, the, um, the, 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 the rumble of the anticipation. Uh, we all put our clothes on and it's all very glamorous and very... Uh, very exciting and um, and then of course when the show starts well that's another subject but all I can tell you is that I wish that feeling that I get that we all get for everyone that I've ever loved uh, because you've never you could never imagine what it's like uh, to experience what we experience every night